we could wax poetically about both teams. But on the other side of the coin, there is another side of the coin. There are ways that these teams can improve as the season unfolds. Let's begin with the Dallas Cowboys. Clearly, even though the 47-yarder from Greg Zerline that gave the Cowboys the lead late, true and straight and not a doubt about it, no stoink, no doink, no bounce, no anything right down the middle, he missed an extra point. He missed a 31-yard field goal badly, badly shanked. And I know he had offseason back surgery, but still, if you're out there and you're ready to go, just like Dak, he's out there, he's ready to go. you got to be the same guy. You can't miss a 31-yard field goal, not in today's NFL, and then clang an extra point off the upright. Uh, and then they tried a 60-yarder. I want to talk more about that in a second. I don't know why you're putting the guy out there for a 60-yarder at the end of the half, but uh, we know how it goes with kickers. Chris, there's plenty of them out there. The supply far outweighs the demand. If you don't get it done, you're going to be done. You're going to be gone, and they're going to find somebody else. Yeah, no, no question, Mike. I mean, you said it right. I think Greg Zerline is one of those guys that's, you know, been around, made enough big-time kicks to where you give them, you know, a little bit of a leash before you start worrying about that. Of course, he came over from the, the Los Angeles Rams with John Fossil, their special teams coach. So there is something there. You know, I think that's one you kind of like, hey, let's evaluate this. Let's not panic quite yet. The guy has been pretty clutch and one of the better quick kickers in football, you know, over the last few years. Yeah, the game could have been a little different, no doubt, if he makes, you know, they left four points on the board, you know, ultimately. Um, but that's one area that jumps out for sure. I think that's one thing. But it's one that I'm not going to say I'm panicked about yet I'm not I just like I said is too good of a kicker I think he'll kind of right the ship and you know like you said he came off a of back surgery and he's probably just starting to hit his stride as well I suspect that when Jerry Jones calls 105.3 the fan in Dallas today one of the questions will be about the kicker and I can already hear based upon extensive experience of listening to and trying to decipher the comments of Jerry Jones a long meandering response that makes the same point you did, but ultimately comes back to we left four points on the board and we lost by two. And I know that if those kicks are good, it changes everything after that. It's different dynamics, who's ahead, who's right. behind. But right. four points is four points. When you stay within two of the defending champions and there's four points you should have had, it's hard to get past that, Chris. Yeah, it, it's 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 going to be a tough pill to swallow. Uh, I mean, yes, uh, you're going to be able to look at it as a base level, and if they have to ever have to play again, if they do get to the playoffs and play the Bucks, that'll be the selling point, you know, and that'll give the Cowboys belief that they can get it done. Now, Tampa on the other side is going to go. Well, wait, we had Ronald Jones fumble. You know, who had a nice hole, not protecting the ball. Demarcus Lawrence did a great job of just punching it out, and we had Leonard Fournette about to catch a screen. That, like Collins or said in the game, like, if he catches that, watch out. You know, we could see it from our uh, one of our angles in, in our little room we were watching on NBC in the green room in the stadium. And, man, if he does catch that ball, he's got a lane. He's going to go 50 yards up the sidelines. This is an easy catch. So, hey, the Bucks are going to be able to look at it and go, hey, we screwed this game up too. You know, Chris Godwin going down to the two-yard line and fumbling, you know, in that situation where they're going to basically put the game away. Um, so both teams had their mistakes. And, you know, just as a realist, at least that, that's what jumps out to me on, on, on both sides. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.